Hi everybody, I'm Andrea Ali and in today's video I'm going to show you how to achieve this super simple, very quick summer look. This is a very feminine, very luminous look. If you want to make yourself look a little bit more youthful and fresh, this is definitely the look to go after. There is nothing complicated about this look. You could just use your fingers to do the eye makeup. It's that easy. So I would say this is also a very beginner friendly makeup tutorial and I like to use pinkish uh, eyeshadows if I'm going to wear white of course it depends on the style that I'm wearing but for example today I'm wearing this top and I'm going to have this this is a very short jacket let me show you it only goes to here and I'm gonna wear jeans and I'm showing you this because some of you told me that maybe I should show how I pair the makeup with the clothes so this is what I'm gonna wear today and I have meetings I've got errands to run so I think it looks very pretty and very feminine before we get into this video make sure that you've subscribed to my youtube channel click on the ring bell button show me some love and if you want to see how I've created this then please keep on watching Okay, now let's start with a nice and beautiful radiant base. I'll use this by Teresa La Rose Brightening CC Serum in Rose Elixir. This is like a skincare makeup product, like two in one. It really hydrates, but it also brightens the skin. It's absolutely fine to apply this with your fingers or with a brush, whatever you prefer. I've got some really large pores, especially in this area. I know that there is really nothing I could do to completely cover them, erase them from my face. So I'm just doing my best uh, with makeup and skincare to make them less visible, but everybody really has them. This milk, uh, this is a blur stick, probably the travel size. Now I like this because it's also very practical and I'm literally just almost like pressing the product like this wherever I've got really bad pores and wherever I don't want to shine I'm also going to apply this onto the chin then with my finger I make sure that everything is good blended there are no chunks of product for the past 10 minutes me and Alex were looking for the Tom Ford intensity one the shade and illuminate intensity one couldn't find it I have to open a new one I really didn't want it this is how it looks like new take a good look at it because this is the last time you're gonna see it like this <laughs> yeah it deserves a close-up you're right here's what we're gonna do we're gonna change it up a little bit and we're gonna start by applying this contour product first I'm going to use this brush this is a concealer brush according to Sigma I'm going to just apply the color like wherever I'm gonna contour don't be afraid, it looks crazy right now. When I contour, I don't really go towards like the mouth. I sort of stop where the corner of my eye is, okay? And I go towards like, I would say the area between the nose and the mouth. Don't go towards the mouth because it's going to make your cheekbone drop. I apply just a tiny little bit on the hairline. With a smaller brush, this is uh, just a synthetic brush from IT Cosmetics, I'm also going to apply it <clears> the <throat> sides of the nose. We're going to blend this. In today's video, I'm going to use this Revlon Color Stay in the color 220 Natural Beige. This is a foundation that I used to use a long time ago in my early 20s. I'm going to take it with this e Maquillage brush and start to really buff the foundation into the skin and as you can see when I apply the foundation this blend is seamless beautiful I'll take a little bit more foundation I'm going to use this magic wand concealer this is from Charlotte Tilbury I'm using the color number two and I think it might be too light I'll use it also to brighten a little bit the skin then I'm going to take this Morphe E20 brush this is a little bit bigger 
I love the Charlotte Tilbury concealer. I hate the applicator, but I love the product. So because the concealer is a bit too light and I don't really like to do the under eyes too light, I'm going to use my foundation brush just to blend the foundation and the concealer together. This Jillian Dempsey cheek tint is just so pretty. The color is Petal and I'm going to take it with this Zoeva 110 brush. You could absolutely use it with your fingers. Blush is bringing just so much joy and happiness onto the face. I applied in a bigger area. Okay, now I'm going to use this Magic Luminizer. This is such a pretty highlighter. It's from RMS and RMS is a clean brand. I'll take it with a cheek brush from Laura Mercier. You can absolutely apply this with your fingers. Try to tap it so that you don't disturb the foundation underneath. Now here's where I applied it. If it's not noticeable, I've applied it on top of my cheeks, a little bit on the forehead, nose, cupid's bow, tiny bit on the chin. And only now I'm going to set. If this is way too dewy for you, you don't have to apply it this much. Just apply it a little bit, use your fingers. Like you can always adapt the makeup look to your necessities. I'm going to set everything using the Laura Mercier Translucent Blue Setting Powder. I'm going to use this Hakuhodo B01021 brush. First, you got to make sure there's no product that creased. Very important step. And then apply the powder where you need it. I usually apply it in like right under the eyes. Here on the sides of the nose. I hate it when I shine in there. Around the mouth where my foundation usually kind of creases like in here and in here. And with this 137 brush from MAC, I'm going to apply just a little bit of powder on the lower part of my face. And also where I kind of know I'm going to apply bronzer, so right here. But I'm now going to cover that beautiful um, highlighter. All right, now for the eye makeup, I'm going to use this Sigma Eyeshadow Base Primer. This is in the color Bubbly. My eyes are deep set, so everything that has shimmer helps me bring them a little bit more forward. Now I'm going to take this blush from NARS. This is in Bumpy Ride and it's such a beautiful color for the cheeks but also you could use it as an eyeshadow. I mean don't ever think limited that if it says blush you can only use it on your face. It's going to have less pigment. I'll take a 217 brush and just apply it on top of the eyeshadow base that we used earlier. I apply it in the crease and very very little on the mobile lid. I just love the color. I'm taking this Marc Jacobs Fine Liner and this is in the color Nudist and I love this product to use on the waterline because it just opens up my eye. Don't worry if at first it kind of looks weird, like as if it's too bright. In a few minutes it's gonna look so much better. The reason why I like this product is because it's very long-lasting. It's one of the few products that you can use on the waterline and it stays very very well. I will use a ton of this Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara to make my lashes look huge. Really this makeup look is all about clean eyelids and a lot of mascara. This mascara is incredible. Check this out. It just gives you massive lashes. Now for the cheeks, I'll use of course the same NARS Bumpy Ride. It's gonna look pretty. Now I don't know about you, but on summer, I cannot stand having anything on my lips. So I use a lot of lip balms. I'm almost like a maniac for lip balms. I've got so many. I, I receive a lot, but I buy a lot. There, there was one from Sulwaso that I absolutely loved. I literally like scrape the product because it was that good. This one is also very good. This is a NARS one. It's from their Orgasm collection. It has the most beautiful color. 
super comfortable on the lips totally makes your lips look very juicy and fresh and plump all right guys this is the final look this is a super simple easy summer makeup look i can't believe that i've actually finished filming this video in 40 minutes normally it takes me so much longer so if i wasn't filming this it would probably take me between 15 and 20 minutes max i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up and make sure that you're subscribed to my youtube channel that you've clicked on the ring bell button and that's how you get to see all the upcoming videos check out my instagram as well thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye